All right, just going to do a video on this erroneous little uh, tirade that little Stevie Boy Wonder Anderson goes on in which he actually trashes the biblical creationism and actually trashes on young earth creationists, you know, and makes fun of the ferment. It's like, oh, you know, little, you know, I don't believe in the whole little ice crystal thing. I mean, I mean, it's a bunch of garbage, okay? And I'm going to show some scriptures that debunk a uh, little Stevie Boy's little rant that he goes on. You know, because I mean, this is just just uh, uh, another addition to the multitude of heresy and false doctrine that is Stephen Anderson's cult, known as the New IFB. But here's what here's a, here's some scriptures that Anderson's actually mocking, and his little tirade he goes on. Okay, Job thirty seven eighteen. Hast thou with him spread out the sky, which is strong and as a molten looking glass? You know, Ezekiel one twenty two, and the likeness of the firmament upon the heads of the living creature was as the color of the terrible crystal stretched forth over the heads over their heads above. Okay, and you're gonna see Anderson make fun of that and and flat out deny that in this little thing he goes on, which is just another edition of, of Anderson's new IFB cult slipping into the heresies and the atheist you know false doctrines of evolution and Big Bang and all this other stuff. Check this out. Let me let me give my thoughts and then I'll I'll, I'll see what what Matt has to say. But first of all, I remember uh, listening. To, I've never watched his seminar before, but I listened to the MP3s of his seminar about 15 years ago. And I remember the the part. I, I think it was called the Hovind theory, and he goes through this stuff. And I feel like this is where people like Ken Hovind can just lose all credibility in a matter of moments because of the fact that he's not even using the word theory properly. Because if you actually look at the scientific use of the word theory, it's not the way we use the word theory in everyday life. If I just said, hey, I've got a theory about that, and I just pull out some gas or some idea, you know, for something to qualify as a scientific theory, it has to be rigorously tested by a variety of, of people, and it has to make a lot of right predictions and really show itself to be worthy and have a broad base of support to even be considered a theory. So his idea that he came up with, if he actually understood even just the most basic principles of science, he would call it the Hovind hypothesis, and then it would start with an H and it would be alliterated. Then it could be called the Hovind hypothesis. But he, he basically is very, very presumptuous calling it the Hovind theory, naming it after himself to make it seem like he has a scientific achievement of that there's a theory that he came up with. Folks, that's not a theory. That's a hypothesis, okay? And he's just tagging his name on it. And this idea of there being this dome of ice or, or an ice layer up there that there was just solid ice, and I, th I think it's ludicrous. So I, I don't know how you feel about it. But. Yeah, I mean, you know, you, I mean, me personally, my views on Kent Hovind, I don't have a whole lot to say because I don't know a whole lot about the guy. But when it comes to this whole issue, it's just another addition to the long list of heresy and false doctrine that comes out of Steve Anderson. You know, I, I'm saying this as a former, you know, per, you know, person who was formerly part of the whole new IFP system from about 2017 to 2019. You know, right when the new IFP was kind of emerging as the new IFP to essentially what what began as a downfall starting at the point where we're, uh, what's that guy, Donnie Romero, got busted for all those sins, you know, smoking, essentially snorting cocaine and, you know, hanging around with prostitutes. That was kind of the beginning of the end because that was a cultic behavior on full display when, you know, the whole Adam Panda situation. I've done videos on that as well. I'm not, not going to get a whole lot into that. But just, you know, another example of Stephen Anderson's cult slipping into the heresy of evolution, the atheist heresy of evolution and the Big Bang type of, just basically atheist philosophy in general. You know, evolution, Big Bang, all that stuff all goes in the same category of atheist heresy. Now, I'm saying this as a former atheist, by the way, too. I was a secular atheist. Then, you know, when I joined the new IFB, I became a religious atheist before God saved me out of the sci-fi false religion of atheism. The, sci -fi, the same sci-fi atheist false religion being propagated by Pope Stephen Anderson of the new IFB. So anyway, don't be deceived by this cult. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.